everyone, my name is Sally if you haven't watched my channel before and today I'm gonna be showing you the self-healing hot pot that I found in an Asian market and this is not my first time trying it, I have tried it with my best friend before but this is a new flavor, it's beef and I think it's a tomato flavor so I'm just gonna show you how it's done, it looks like magic when it boils without hot water so let's watch There's instruction in the back here. Uh, I'm so bad with unpacking stuff. Yes. The instructions are here. I'm just gonna follow it. So that's the box. It says hi. So that's the cover. That's the noodles we're gonna be eating. Seasoned beef. Oh, they have utensils too. I think they have a spoon and chopsticks. Two chopsticks. We also have tomato flavored hot pot seasoning. So excited. This is where we're gonna put all the ingredients and like sauces and everything. We have pickled vegetables. And here we have the pad we're gonna be putting which heats the water without putting hot water so you're gonna see how that's gonna work it's so cool to watch so i'm gonna show you everything here we have okay so here we have instructions on how to put it oh sorry i should have stuck in here we put everything in then cold water and a water on top of that anyways and it just boils by itself for 15 minutes and then you can start eating it that's what they have in here and i just brought two water bottles and let me just put them and show you okay so i'm gonna follow the instructions where it just says put everything in here so i'm just gonna open everything i'm gonna start with the noodles What should I put next? I'm gonna put the pickled vegetables next. They have lotus root, potato, kelp, black fungus, bamboo, and shoot. And I don't even know what all those things mean. I just know they taste really good. I'm just gonna put the seasoned beef now. So messy I'm sorry now I'm gonna put last the tomato sauce let's see how that's gonna turn out good enough okay since we put everything in next we're gonna put the water and there's a line here, so we're going to put the water to the maximum line. Beautiful. We put it to the maximum line. Next, add cold water to the maximum fill-in of the black box. I don't know if this is cold enough. Let me bring cold water. Okay, so I brought cold water in a cup. Because I don't trust the water bottle if it's cold enough. And we're going to put it to the line. So I find the maximum line, which is like only this much. It's so dark that I can't even see it. I can barely see it. So I'm just going to put the water in. It's supposed to be cold. Now they're telling me to put the pad in. As soon as I put this in, I have to put this really quick. Because this starts boiling the water beautiful 
We're gonna make sure it's not damaged. We put everything in here. And then we're gonna cover it. Make sure it's covered properly. And we leave it here for 15 minutes. I'm gonna make you hear the sound when it starts. We hear the sound and I literally can see the steam going out of here. This is the water starting to boil. And I'm just gonna put the timer for 15 minutes. This is so cool. I'm gonna clean up here. Okay guys, so we have about a minute. I'm just gonna start opening the utensils. I can definitely still hear a sound and I can see the steam go going out. So I think it's still boiling. I get that in. Now the next one, I love this color, is black and red. I got that in! Two chopsticks! They're my love. We also got a spoon. And they have some napkins here, which I would definitely recommend to get this type of thing if you're going for camping. Anyways, let's put that aside. Have this here. I guess it's time to open it. it. Smells like tomato. Ah. Okay. Smells like tomato, as I said. I'm just gonna mix them all together because I didn't mix them earlier. I would like to start with the noodles. They look like plastic. It definitely tastes good, but I would say it needs a little bit more cooking. Now the seaweed. Mmm, I love that. It tastes perfect. They look like onions, but I'm sure they're not. I don't know what they're called. Definitely not fully cooked. I think they also have potatoes here. So let's check those. That's the potato. Mmm. It definitely tastes better than I tried it last time with my friend. Because when we tried it, it tasted like it was not cooked. But this time it tastes like it's cooked. I think I followed the instructions in the right way. The seaweed, I love it. Also has beef. I'm gonna try that. Mm -hmm. The beef is cooked and I can taste it's tomato sauce flavored. Overall, it's really good. And now I'm just gonna finish all of it. This is definitely worth a try. I would definitely recommend to buy it. Let's try this soup. It's still hot. It's a tomato sauce and it's so good i'm sorry if you don't like tomato but i really like it so much i've also seen the vegetarian one in there so i'm sure you can buy the vegetarian one if you don't want the meat in it
It's crunchy. I can literally chew it. It's a little hard. So guys, I finished everything, only the soup left, and I'm just gonna finish that too. So this is the end of my video. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.